On to race number seven then, the seventh on the programme. We're up to the, uh, the mile here. It's a class four contest with Gorgeous again. The gear coming off here, blinkers off, drops back into class four company. City legend, runner up, 1400 last start. Desmios on the back up fifth last week. Compassion Stars on a hat trick. Nam John plus one on debut. Club life a roll forward from barrier two. Red Elise was behind Destin last time out. Polymer Luck, Chainstone agree. But down to a triumphant Lights, who was uh, not too far off grade one. He's got barrier seven here. This is a tough race. This was one of the harder races of the day. Club Life is a genuine front runner when he steps well. Polymere Luck, Triumphant Light's been fought his last few, and Viva Council can posse up. So they should set a reasonable tempo. Is there one or two surprises in the race? Probably not. Uh, but there are a lot of horses in that second part of the field that look to have reasonable engines and progress in them. Uh, City Legend caught the eye at his last start, coming home nicely behind Grade 1. That was over 1,400 metres. He steps up to 1,600 metres, and his track work has been uh, pretty good. So he's a, definitely a horse on the, the improve as City Legend, uh, Derek Long, bar barrier 11. So he'll get back and he'll run on. Compassion Star's on a hat-trick. He's won his last two uh, quite nicely as well, beating Godspeed and Travel Emperor. They've both been uh, very good uh, wins from him, uh, and uh, he's going nicely as well. Not the biggest horse in the world, and he is getting up in the weights a little bit. And Red Elise, he's had a better season this season. He's been a one-hit wonder at the start. Uh, well, he did win his debut run here in Hong Kong, but a second behind Destin doesn't look too bad on form last time. He's another one that's been travelling well on his track work. And the last one here is Indigenous Star. I'm just going to show Indigenous Star the 12. He's another one that seems to be going uh, nicely enough here, just with a horse called Good Luck, Good Luck. So good they named it to us. There you go. We all need a bit of that, don't we? Uh, City Legends is where we're going to start uh, here, along with uh, Triumphant Light. Um, he ran second, City Legend, here behind Grade 1. Wasn't beaten far, either. This is a massive run from City Legend. His first prep, he did show some ability, and then he had a, a problem with his left hind, and that set him back, and then, obviously, we've seen the two runs back. He hasn't done a great deal in there. Here, third up, he really flashed home late with a fast 22-28 final 400. He did this once or twice first prep too, so he's overcome those little issues. Not a big horse, but there's an engine there. No, oh, definitely, yeah. And, and uh, it, it, you're going to have to take your chance a little bit, because he'll get back and be mm. running on late. But I found a place for him. It's whether he can repeat that. That's yeah, the horse one. in the blue there, Super Miss, I was going to come up very short later yeah. on. Yeah, and the horse that he almost ran over, grade one, is going really good at the moment in the mornings. All right. Desmios has had his problems um, as well, um, but um, he put in a I think a performance of a um, little bit of merit last week, Paul. Yeah, I made him the horse to follow uh, from this, um, and I'm going to stick with him. He's only had the two starts for Frankie Law, and uh, Frankie Law's got the horse going very well. You know, he's only had eight starts as a, as a six-year-old speaks uh, volumes that he's had problems, but I just think Frankie Law's got the key to him, and he really caught the eye in this uh, run here, and I think the, the real good bit was the way he attacked the line late. It was a good run from him, and uh, I'm going to stick with him. He's um, one of the multiple chances. I didn't sneak him in, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was in the frame. All right, that's uh, Desmios. Uh, Compassion Star looks like he is our early favourite, and uh, he's done very little wrong because he's won his last two starts. He has. Now he steps to the mile. He's had a slight setback, a lame right hind leg issue back on the 16th of January, which was uh, about a week after this performance. Gone back to the trials, had a quiet trial for Zach Purton. Done very little wrong, as you say, Andrew. Barrier nine's a touch more awkward. I don't think he'll be far away, but I'll take him on on a win line in this race. Yeah, I've got him in there for second, but uh, he is a horse that's in form, as you mentioned. He's had that little setback, but he seems to be over it now. All right, and up in trip as well, as uh, Brett said. So one more race to have a look at then. Uh, Mark Kula, this was certainly his best effort uh, to date. Club life, we imagine, will be in a similar sort of position as they swing for home uh, on Sunday too. Yeah, and Viva Council likely to just sort of box seat behind them from a low barrier with a claim. Um, the former American horse, Mark Cooler, I thought this was a good effort. Interesting, Michael Chang sort of backed him up fairly quick and maybe that was the improved performance. Ran him on the 21st of January, followed him up a week later and he put in this effort. He's got another nice barrier as opposed to the awkward one two back. I think he's coming to hand. He'll go in for me. Yeah, I'm going to wait till he gets on the dirt. Yeah. Well, I think he's a dirt horse, so I'll wait till he gets there. It was a good run though, mm. but... Um, uh, Everest is running I later I tend on. to think 16.50 on the dirt, just yeah, be licking your chops when that, <laughs> that happens. Yeah. All right, he's in. <laughs> Desmios for you, though, Paul. Yeah, Desmios. I, I just think that Frankie Law's got this horse going very well at the moment. He's always had ability, and uh, he's injury-free and going well. Compassion Star in there for second on the hat-trick. Rita Lise, I'm going to put in. I'd highlight his track work. He's going very well. He's got barrier number three. 
And uh, he's had a good season to date. And City Legend caught the eye last time. So 3, 4, 9 and 2 with uh, QQP's the way to go. There's a lot of horses you can make a case for in this race for, uh, for myself. I'm going to go with Indigenous Star, number 12. Last three starts, gate 10, gate 11, gate 13. Prior to that, winner from barrier three, defeated Everlaugh comfortably. Everlaugh was a winner a week or so ago. He's finally got another good barrier. Paul highlighted some nice track work. Him on top, City Legend's got a massive engine, but he will give away a start. Compassion Star, I expect to run another honest race. Mark Cooler in for fourth, but Namjong Plus, good for you. Red Elise, they all sort of stay the claim in the race, don't they? Yeah, if you're still alive to come to the final leg of the TT, you'll do very well to get that with yeah. three hits. Yeah, you want to hope that you'll take <laughs> lots of numbers. Mm -hmm. All right.